All right, welcome one and all back to Let's Play Thief Deadly Shadows here on Looking Glass, your one stop, your only stop for bourbon fueled larceny. Tonight we have a very fine Wild Turkey 101 paired with uh, Thief Deadly Shadows. We're going to be playing the Lost Citadel mission of this campaign, and then up next is Lady Moira's Mansion. Possibly one of my favorite thief missions of all time. I still think Life of the Party probably takes the cake, and Shalebridge Cradle is cool. Although it's not very thiefy, most of it is is kind of like, uh, it's more of like an adventure game. Like, survival horror adventure game type stuff. Um, so Moira's Mansion is just a great thief mission, and I really want to savor that. So we're going to do this one first. Um, performance should be okay, and I am just going to check. We are recording, everything looks good. Um, but I am a little concerned with performance. Uh, coincidentally, uh, Razor Fist is a, is a channel I'm a huge fan of. Multiply, coincidentally. He just started streaming this this week, which is awesome. Um, but the other thing that happened to him coincidentally with this week was he got hacked. And guess what? So did I. And I was a lot more stupid than Razor. I don't know. He said he was the victim all of a fishing. All lost. Count three for the time in the darkness. I like these guys. These are the Kershock, by the way, the denizens of the Lost Citadel. We didn't really see to, like, the the denizens of the Citadel in, um, well, in the Dark Project were those weird, uh, Kraymen things. We never saw these sort of Lovecraftian, like, uh, Innsmouthers you know, deep ones before. We didn't see those before in The Lost Citadel uh, in the original Thief, uh, The Dark Project. And then in Gold, they actually populated the map with a few enemies, but mostly with... Um, uh, or a few uh, supernatural enemies, but mostly with human enemies. Um, and I believe there's some rat men here, which are... They were more like monkeys in the Trickster's... Uh, the, the Maw of Chaos and stuff like that in Thief, uh, Thief the Dark Project, so I'm not really sure what the, like, it's almost as if these guys are new lore, or if they're referenced in the older games, maybe these were the original denizens of that city, but I was always under the impression that the people who built the, the Citadel were, were human, so I don't really know, but it's cool, I mean, it's definitely, you know, um, there's a big uh, Dagon statue, I think, going into the Citadel in Thief Gold. Or going into the Lost City in Thief Gold. And, um, you know, there, there are definitely some Lovecraftian references all over uh, the Thief series. So this is just, I think, bringing it full circle. These are basically just deep ones. Um, and this is how you would imagine their quote-unquote Cyclopean City or whatever uh, from Shadow Over Innsmouth. Uh, but anyways, as I was saying before, yeah, coincidentally, I was also hacked this week. Uh, Razor said he was the, the, uh, victim of a phishing scam. I was not. I was stupid. Um, I, uh, I required some software. I required some software, and I found some... How should we put this? Extra legal means, potentially. I may or may not have acquired them through extra legal, it through extra legal means. And there was a keylogger on it. And they got into my eBay and one of my Amazon accounts and a couple of my emails and some other stuff like that. So, um, when is the yeah, uh, when they is ordered the a vacuum time? and shipped All it to the actually the city I live in, which is weird. Um, that's why when I called the police, they were like, was this a personal attack? And I'm like, I, I don't think I've made any enemies, uh, as far as I know. I think it's just coincidence. But, um, but yeah, so that's another reason I've been down. Um, and, uh. You know, I ran a bunch of uh, malware scanners and stuff like that, removed it all. I've been regularly checking my accounts for any weird activity since then, nothing. They didn't get access to my bank or anything like that. 
Uh, but I have noticed weird things like my, um, um, this is a new PC I built, and, um, I guess they drink the water? They're big on the water? Not long, long ago, the pearls, the hatchlings, counted. Oh, was that not a water arrow? Maybe that was a pearl. Maybe he's pissed that I took it. That's pretty cool. Um, but, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, but, uh, you know, so when I first built this PC, yeah, hooking up the, the wireless, um, my little wireless adapter, um, it did disconnect itself occasionally, but it wasn't really that big of an issue, but I've noticed, uh, and it could also be that my ISP is doing, like, maintenance on stuff late at night, and so we lose connection occasionally. Because whenever I have the connectivity problems, it's always super late at night. Um, it's never in the middle of the day, so I don't know. It could be a number of things, but I'm just paranoid now because uh, I have two friends who work in cybersecurity, and I'm like, so I'm good now, right? They're like, no. I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, well, until you can completely format the drive and wipe the entire machine, uh, there's there could be hidden stuff you don't know about. Um, and uh, I have, you know, I've too much stuff on here right now that I don't want to have to back up right away. So I will eventually get around to it, just reformatting the computer, but I want to get through this Let's Play and a few other things before I do that, but I, I just have been paranoid of just like every time I have like a weird performance issue, I'm like, what is that? What is that the software? Is there more malware? So, you know, definitely paranoid now, boy. but just like Razor said, because this is something I, I made the exact same friggin' mistake that he did. I was very lazy, even with this channel, even with this channel, I was very lazy and I just, I get, another thing is, is I, I live part-time overseas. I'm splitting my time between uh, the US and um, another country. And uh, whenever I go there, uh, technically I can get access to texts to my phone number. Um, and I, I prefer getting texts for the two-factor authentication, but it is a pain in the ass when I'm over there because I have to literally swap my SIM out every time I need to use it. Um, so yeah, I was very lazy with two-factor authentication. I only used it for my most important accounts and for, you know, like whatever else I didn't, and uh, that's how they got me. Because I on all the accounts I have two-factor authentication set up on, I've never had these issues. Um, I've had people try and hack it before, you know, say, like, there's an attempted sign-in from, like, New Jersey, or an attempted sign-in from Atlanta, and I'm like, yep, not me. Not gonna mess with that, so, please, guys, do remember, I, I have it on good authority that even two-factor authentication doesn't completely secure you, but for most mid-level hackers, it should be fine. Anyways... Enough about that. Let's get into the game proper. We're in the Lost Citadel. We have deep ones here. We've got some old crafting elements going on, and we're going to go in. And I think we're trying to find the Compendium of Approach that they sent people down into here. The, the Keepers sent an expedition to look for it, and nobody found it. So we're going <clears> to... <throat> Four clicks for the pride of existence. We are Kershock. Most bold, most brave, most clever among all the world's creatures. Scholars and adventurers most favored in the eyes of him, the Leaf Lord. Five clicks for Guliak, the most favored of all and king of the Kershark. Oh yeah! Oh no, we we released Gravik, not Guliak. Human and tree bow before him and we bathe in glory. Three clicks for the vanity of our pride. Our people built towering castles and mighty ships. Among all the Leaf Lord's creatures we were most favored. Still not content, we wish to be set apart, but still we were favored, and the Leaf Lord gifted the king called Gruliak once more with a golden crown of power. Two clicks for the folly of vanity, Gruliak donned the crown and felt its power. Gruliak the beautiful, Gruliak the strong, Gruliak the mighty spoke. I am greater than the Leaf Lord himself, but dark and terrible is the Leaf Lord, and as great was as great was his love for the Kershok, now twice great, twice as great was his anger. One click for the doom of folly, the Leaf Lord opened the earth and banished us beneath it. Here we dwell forever with no lord or ally, nor sun or moon, nor no rain or wind. The Leaf Lord reached out for the gift he had given us. Gruliak fought him. 
bravely and kept for us the crown, but his hand was destroyed, as are we. So that's a little lore into what the Lost Citadel is. Again, I was under the impression that the Lost Citadel was built by humans. I was not necessarily under the impression that it was uh, deep ones. Although, again, you know, the... the that I took the thing off there. I'm gonna try and ghost this or parts of this one a little bit more. We'll see. If I'm remembering correctly, this is not a... I did not... I think there was an... I, if I'm remembering correctly from the last Let's Play, there was an issue up in the streets with uh, being chased around too much, and I couldn't get to the... Uh, water arrow shop no to fill up so. but we'll see we might find Nothing some here now. we'll take it easy i do want to stock up for lady murders just so we can i you know that honestly is it silly as it sounds for a stealth game that's supposed to be sort of like it's a very relaxing level for me i, I really like that level it just it chills me out it's such a great atmosphere so i don't want to be Freaked out because I'm low on resources when we get there. So. Count three for the time in the darkness. There we go. He's gonna go that way. I don't see any more treasure in this room. So yeah, that's some lore. Apparently, uh, you know, and a lot of these sort of humanoid animal races are somehow related to the trickster. They usually worship him. Um, that's why when you go to the Mob Chaos, there's like the gorilla people or the rat people or the the Crayman or the Mantis people. Um, all these weird sort of alien creatures usually have some sort of connection to the trickster. Yeah, these are the rat people. I thought these were monsters the first time I played. Giant them. rats. Great. I like the stealth kill animation in this game. It's pretty cool. He's over there. Let's read this little excerpt. Us orderings, finders them crown, taken long ago by them's Kershock, who betrayed the leafy king. Checks for them uh, throne room bees might there. We takers us it we takers us it back with us, returns it to him that feeders us and drinks us in honeyed mead, them woodsy lord, kills us any Kershock or any other getters in our way. Shaman Cornbriar. A golden crown, eh? Now I'm interested. Screw you, rap. I think I'm gonna kill this guy. Screw this rat person. go yeah I'm remembering all my controls I set up it wasn't that long ago but still I was hoping to have gotten much farther nice and like I said guys you can wash away the uh, the blood with the uh, water arrows too because that that is evidence as you can see they they did some um, I was under the impression that in the original Thief games, if you if you took loot, uh, people would notice. But apparently, I don't know. I was watching Razor's stream last night, and uh, yeah, apparently he's under the impression that that's not the case, um, which it could be. I mean, I don't know for sure. the Kershock. Maybe they'll all die. Oh, also these uh, red marks, those are uh, the, the 
so it's a sort of breadcrumb crumb trail for the expedition, the keeper expedition. Um, yeah, what am I here to do? Oh crap! Ah, that is a big fuck off sword. I don't know why he came this way. I didn't do anything. I think he's just general in general search mode. Oh, he's gonna fucking find me, isn't he? Oh my god! Just go away. Leave me alone. I didn't. I didn't do anything. You not hide. Not hide. The one problem is with the AI getting into combat with each other is that they're ultimately programmed to for a stealth game, which means they're programmed to search for someone in the shadows. So when they get aggroed by other enemies, other NPCs, um, they do do this kind of thing where it's just like, oh, let's go search for the player. It's like, no, why don't you focus on the threat over there and leave me alone? I didn't do anything, so... But they did add more complexity to the AI, you know, like, if you if you steal stuff, they'll notice it. If you, uh, you know, they notice, uh, they notice more things like that, you know, uh, doors open, uh, blood pools on the ground. Not that they didn't in the original Thief game, like the blood pool and stuff, but I, I think my recollection is that it's more of a big deal here. Speaking of, uh, honeyed mead... I just took a first sip of this wild turkey. This is such a fine bourbon. Sometimes you get like when. Uh -oh. Relax. Relax. Some, you know, uh, sometimes you get such a good, you know, you could get the same bottle of bourbon, you know, nine times and it's gonna be a little bit different every time, you know what I mean? From the same manufacturer. Sometimes it's so good that it just defies explanation. This stuff is so sweet tasting, I could have sworn they put sugar in it. I know they don't. That's the thing. But it does taste like liquid honey. It's one of the things I like about bourbon is once, you're, once your palate gets sort of used to it, it tastes like, like liquefied honey. It's really good. So. All right, now, are there any more treasures down here? Because I don't think I want to mess. There's too much light in this room. I don't want to mess with getting caught. I don't see any more treasure, so I'm gonna go this way. We do need to come this way at some point, but this is sort of a Metroidvania, well, looking glass map. There's more than one way to skin the cats. Once again, uh, we, oh, another little note. Shaman, I bees thinkering an idea. When we bees duns here, we should take see them diamond lights with us. It bees near them glowing crystals here in our base, where them Kershock theater used to bees. I thinkers those city's fools trading much with us for it. They love her shiny rocks, and it but doesn't look too heavy to carry, Willowtail. Okay, be near the glowing crystal here in our base. So I have to go to their base in the Kershock theater to find the diamonds. That's the same. Uh, now what kind of thief would I be if I didn't investigate this room with diamond lights? Nice. Oh yeah, there's the, with the, the rat people pagans, there's also, there's also, uh, human pagans. Now one thing I don't remember, is if I kill pagans in a mission, if that affects my uh, standing with them negatively. I don't remember. I'm gonna make, it, make a hard save too. And let's go to our goals. So what are we what are we doing here? Find the keeper. Oh, we're here for the glyph key. I think we we got a clue to find the rependium of com, com, rependium of approach the compendium of approach. Uh, and that's at Lady Moira's mansion, because her husband sent it to her. Alright. I'm gonna see if I can do this without getting caught. Just get 
back to the shadows. Nice. Yeah, I like when, yeah, as I said in other playthroughs, I love once you figure out the the particular uh, pin set for a lock. Um, you can just repeat it real fast. So apparently, uh, yeah, the lore is that the so the the deep ones built this city, the lost city, just kind of like in the shadow over Innsmouth. It's a but it it's more like Atlantis, where it was it was where the city art the city in the game was. Um, they're sort of a sea-based culture. And they worshipped the trickster and they were in his good graces. Um, but then, through the hubris of their king... I already forgot his name. Starts with a G. Grig Griglock or whatever. Um, they angered the trickster because he felt like, Oh, well, I don't need you anymore. If them hammerheads aren't stopped, they be builders up the whole world. I don't Be's see any no treasure. I don't think it's left. worth getting into it. Be's but no then. herbies left. There's no pagans left. All them leafers or vines, none left. Ah. Um, so yeah, so now the, the pagans... Up, so he, he actually caused an earthquake to uh, sink the whole city beneath the... the earth. And uh, now they dwell, the remnants dwell under here, but the pagans are still sort of at war with them. There's no love lost between the Kershock and the Pagans. So I like that this game explains a little bit more about like what the hell was going on in the city. In the Lost Citadel. Bees a message to them shaman cornbriar shaman. <laughs> I bees want you helpings and findering uh my them battlehorn. I bees losted it nears them Kershock hatchery. It bees them ivory horn with them rubies, them red rubies, like them bloods of our enemies. Maybe some herbals or them shaman magics could helping us find her. Please be helper me, Willow Reed. Not very musical. Oh, shit. But an ivory horn with rubies. Shit. That sounds like it might play my kind of tune. Oh fuck! 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 I'm so screwed. Fuck! I'm so fucking screwed. Oh my god. Things are a little terrifying up close. I'm trying to be conservative and not use my water arrows since I don't have a ton of them. Alright, that was close. I need to get... Oh, fucking goddammit! Let's go! Let's go! I'm just gonna live with my mistake. Whatever. You don't get, like, stealth scores or anything. And I probably wanted to kill him anyways. How many health potions do I have? Okay. That should be more than enough. Sparkly bits. Mine, I think. See, a lot of, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of people are just like, oh, the dagger's totally useless. Really? I, I have one far more dagger fights playing this game than I ever won sword fights playing uh, the original two thief games. Far more. Even taking into account zombies that don't really fight back. They do, but it's not, they're not as devastating. There's some RNG associated with it. They, they can definitely be fairly devastating. I think I played this mission before I ever played any Lost. No, that's not true. I played it, but I never played the Lost Citadel missions in Thief. The Dark Project, I think I always skipped past them. They were too hard or something. Um, so my first exposure to the Lost Citadel was um, Thief 2. <laughs> And I didn't quite make the connection. I think I might have also skipped through that one. I mean, I was super young when I first played Thief uh, 1 and 2, and they're pretty hard games. So, yeah, I just kind of skipped through them. Um, uh, 
you know, um, oh, I'm just paranoid again. Still recording, still looking good on all audio levels, fantastic. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, this was a bit of a shock. I was like, why are we in Atlantis right now? I don't understand. And they did change the look of it a bit, but it's fine. I mean, it's just, it's kind of like getting a, a new, a whole new artistic interpretation of it while still, you know, being re reminiscent enough of the original vision of the Lost City for people, you know, uh, veteran players to be like, oh yeah, this is the, uh, I've been, I think the other smart thing they did was they didn't try and copy any layouts or any, anything that they had done in the previous games. Um, they did just made like a new, a whole new map. It's got its own place. It is significantly smaller, of course, than the Lost Citadel from uh, from that game. Oh, yeah, I was just watching Razor's stream last night, and I was just like, "Why is there a, uh, a loading screen?" I was like, "Oh yeah." See, I'm 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 too much of a purist when I play, especially for the channel, the coverage. I wanted you guys to see this game in as close in a, as a of an approximation as possible to what we experienced in 2004 when it came out so uh, I kept in the loading screens I kept in um, I kept the graphics the same I didn't change anything really it's the sneaky upgrade like all the technical stuff to make it run better but other than that it I didn't add any new features in um, apparently the the new feature set on the sneaky upgrade which is the version of the game like that's the patch you should get if you're gonna play the, the steam version but apparently the the new version is called Thief 3 Gold, so... But unlike Thief uh, 1 Gold and the proposed Thief 2 Gold, it doesn't actually add any new content. Um, and if you guys are curious about what Thief... Uh, oh, shit. Did that just get... Yeah, damn it. That pisses me off. You know what? I'm going to reload a save. Yeah, I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to save scum. Because if your inventory is maxed up, maxed out every time, excuse me, every time you pick up new items, it just, uh, it just disappears. So, and I, I lost some health with that battle with the rat person, so I better, there we go, much better use of resources. Not that this game is super difficult, but. But yeah, if you want to check it out, some a fan found some old files. He spoke to me, told me there must be upside. Stories must be true. As where did strangers come from? Oh, for brain fever you suffer from, just like him. Well, he is gone somewhere. Why not upside world? World is there. Not believe this is world. Wishes make head sick. I talk no more. There's a mine down there. Nice. Um, yeah, as I was saying, um, there was a fan. I don't know if he got leaked. I don't know if a former Looking Glass employee sent him some some stuff. I don't know how he got the content, but there's a, a fan who made a uh, um, a bunch of uh, fan missions for Thief 2 that are essentially Thief 2 Gold. Uh, through a series of interviews where he got general layouts or an idea of what the missions were supposed to be, and then actually partially finished maps, uh, this modder actually made a map pack of Thief 2 Gold, like all the missions that would have been added. The problem is, is most of them are just like, here's the layout, there's no enemies, and it's, it might not even be playable, you might get stuck at certain points, because you literally can't traverse, but it's a cool idea. If you guys want to check it out, Thief 2 Gold. Um, don't you, don't you me. Originally, him and his friends who were working on it were, were really committed to actually making. I was trying to wall flatten on here, and apparently I couldn't do it. 
guys. I don't know what the deal was. I'm gonna get the hell out of here, though. That looks Nothing like... Now. We're gonna see what this is over here. There's also a water arrow or diamond. Yeah, that's loot. I need that. I better get out of here. He can see me. Shit, 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 shit. Back to the shadows. That's a water arrow. I'm almost 100% certain. I'll come back for it. I'm not gonna mess with it now. But yeah, apparently they were originally gonna just make Thief 2 gold, add some new weapons and things like that to it, and then make all the map, the additional maps and stuff. Maybe even upgrade some of the textures and stuff. Kind of like what they did with Thief 1 gold. But, uh, uh, you know, like with a lot of these modding projects, his friends lost interest and it was too time consuming for something they weren't getting paid for, so. Uh, all we have now is just like a general map pack, which just, most of them are just impressions of what, what would have been See, she, I heard her, she said, I see the blood what goes on here. Uh, but she's seen either the AI got in a fight with itself or something, but that wasn't me. So, again, she's if she's going to start looking for me because of that, that's a little annoying. But whatever. It's cool. I best get on with things. There bees nothing to see here. Uh-oh. Is this the uh, one I be the monster killer. I need just help here. Oh, good, right, the fighting just for Shunk and the Pagans. Yeah, obviously what makes, what adds any sort of difficulty to this is just the abundance of the light sources that you can't, uh, there might be a way to extinguish those. Let's go ahead and... What's the, is it F, I think I put it F9. Yeah. Again, my paranoia. Hold on. I may have to check it here, guys. I, I just lost uh, confirmation of the video in the, in the box here. Okay, there we go, sorry. OBS. What a fucking nightmare sometimes. I think I just wasted all those. this guy out real quick I'm gonna save again he's going over there I'm gonna go over here ah. and if he stares at the center again I'm gonna go up behind him and smack him Yeah, I do wish I had stocked up on some more water arrows. I mean, we're going to be fine, I think, for this mission, but still, you know, I like to have a real comfortable uh, margin of safety. 
typically when I play, but uh, yeah, so we're, we got some extra loot there. Like I said, guys, we are going to be fully exploring. I may have to knock, you know, I'm not going to completely ghost it, but if I don't have to knock people out, I won't. This is one of those levels where it's actually more of a pain in the ass, although I do want to go in there, so I may just knock this guy out. Any second now. Come on. Do it. Damn it. Right, go to this go. Let's do it. If I remember correctly, this is there's some good stuff in this room. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just bullshit. Yeah. Maybe it was. Do I need to move any of this to, to get treasure? Is there any treasure behind this? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I didn't notice these tapestries. But, ooh. Ah. I was about to say, I did not notice that uh, before. Oh, that's part of the loot. Fantastic. And another piece of loot right here. You can ghost mission, like, I would say most missions you can finish all, most of the objectives by ghosting. But if you want 100% loot, kind of need to knock a few people out, which is what I'm doing. And I'm, you know, that's my lifestyle choice. Don't judge. Oh, yes, the, the crown. Well, we're going to have to figure out a way to get it. Probably by jumping over there. Do I hear? Like this, I'm. We're gonna try some... I'm gonna see how snipeable these guys are. Well, first off, I'm gonna do this. Oh, that's awesome! Did you see that, guys? Right out from under their noses. Oh, that. F uh, that's that's why you play thief. That just that feeling, just like. Yes. I just absconded with your fucking precious crown, and you were none the wiser. And I scurried away like a little, a little rat or something. Although there's something in that chest. I still have to go down to the bottom floor there, so it means I'm probably gonna have to knock him out. Well, I don't know. If I go down. Too, well, no, yeah, there's no way. It's too illuminated. And I can't take out any of the light sources. I wonder what this area is for. Can I climb up there? I think I can climb up there. I just hope there's nothing cool up there in case I can. Yeah. So that was awesome. I feel like a total badass right now. The other cool thing is we're gonna just get out of here, like, just scurry away back into the shadows. What other game lets you do this?
Oh yeah, you can go up here. Okay, fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's anything I actually need. Oh, it's probably just a... <gasps> yes, I have to go there. I have to get that. I'm glad I... I was like, this seems oddly suspicious. Like, I could almost go up here. And... Yes. Ah, oh, yes. You're just master of the domain right now. Like I said, the platforming isn't perfect, but once you learn all the little idiosyncrasies, you can kind of, like, just do what you need to do, you know? I wish I could take out that light source, because then I could pick that chest without getting spotted. I think we're gonna do it this time, ladies and gents. We are actually gonna. See, hold on. There we go. Oh no, we go to gear. That's right. We go to gear, loot. Wait, go back. No, then we do goals. Only 50. Man, there's a lot of loot in this level. We're gonna be rich. I do remember I bought a bunch of stuff though. Also, wait a minute. <laughs> I totally forgot. We already have the wall climbing gloves. And yes, uh, guys, you can use them in mission. Um, so keep in mind that adds another level of dimensionality to the level design. Because that's a thing I can do now. Is just climb the walls to get to extra places. I know there's... Yeah, there's a guy. Those are the guys, I think, that are in the... Yeah, these are the throne room guys, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm gonna try and figure out a way to take them out. Well, that's a drop -off. I could probably snipe them. They've been fighting pagans. But I gotta wait for their alert status to go down <clears throat> before I snipe them. Yeah, in what other game can you do this? Uh, yeah, I had somebody comment on my channel the other day. I made it. I think I was talking about Dishonored and Far Cry in my Immersive Sim series. And uh, I made the point that I, I hate the fucking directional indicators to show, like, oh, a guy can spot you over there, but you're not really sure how or why or how to evade his uh, gaze. Um, maybe, no, gas bombs are too expensive. Plus, they're better for groups of enemies. Maybe a gas arrow, but again, those are expensive. Hard to find. There we go. One shot, one kill. You know what else I'm gonna do? Nice. You do kind of feel like Batman sometimes, because you're just kind of like constantly altering the environment to your advantage and then striking from the shadows, and it's fucking awesome. I'm gonna go hide him over here, because even though there's already been a battle here, his buddy's almost certainly gonna notice that. Um. Don't see any more sparkly bits. But uh, he wrote this really long comment, and I thought he was about to give me a bunch of shit for like, no, directional indicators are the best, you don't even know what you're talking about, blah, 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 blah. But basically, he uh, just fully articulated uh, every grievance I have with them in a, in a really well thought out way, and I was like, thank you. Like, uh, it's, it, like at first I thought he was just gonna just give me a bunch of shit, and I'm like rolling my eyes, but uh, he ended up really agreeing with me and, and articulating it better than I ever could, which... Uh, I really appreciate it. Ah, yes, this is where we need to be um, in terms of story. 
And there's a bunch of stuff in here. Bunch of stuff. There is a bunch of stuff in here. Typically, guys, my accents are way better. Uh, but, of course, performance anxiety. You know, I'm not usually doing it on a microphone. And like, oh, people are going to hear this. It gets to you. It gets to the... If I wanted to be super sneaky thiefy, I could rob this entire library um, and get him. Also, there's a, a little interesting. Well, I'm not going to spoil it. There's a little interesting bit coming up here. I like the architecture for this place, but, you know, um, it, I don't have much to say about it. It's interesting. It is very sort of Lovecraftian and Atlantean. But I think when we think of, like, the Deep Ones and their city beneath the waves, we do sort of think of Atlant- or at least I do, I get sort of imagery of Atlantean stuff. Alright, this guy, I don't know what he's doing, but he's driving me nuts. See, he's acting like he saw me, but he didn't. Is it just because I stole that book? You weren't reading it? I'll read that later. Alright, we're gonna quick save and we're gonna go investigate. I have no idea where he is or what he's doing. Well, I have some idea where he is. Yeah, he's right here. Him because I, I I don't know if he's, he's if he's stuck in this aisle. <clears throat> I guess not. Or maybe he is. I don't know. library is mine. I'm taking all your stuff. Oh. Count ten for king and crown. Gruliok the great fell and lost his hand and wore the crown till he died. Gruliok spawned Grustum, brain fever to search for upper world. Spawned Grendrick. Gener Generos shared the crown to, uh, to friends at hatching day. Who killed him and kept for their own. Stop line of blood kings, start lesser kings. Kershock suffered King Orpet, who spawned Orpatolia, who ruled for fifty but knew nothing. King Boromin took crown, scholar who tried to save the learnings but failed. And as you can see, the, the spelling gets worse and worse as the uh, accounting of their history progresses. Pertok spawned Bergamus, spawned Gruvat. Uh, kin of Grendrick spawned Fomac, spawned... What is this, the Cimmerillion? Moriak. All wore the crown, but say no more on its power. The crown not loved Kershok. The last kings are Tormac, Fromulet, Bissett, and Merid Merdiak. Then chaos times come. The crown waits until we have a great king to offer, until we learn all that is forgotten, until there are foes to battle, until there are new thrones. And Scholar and Kershok, named of... T Turish, who writes this, will be gone past counting. 
I wish there was, uh, if you, if you let the Kershaw go, um, in the cage in the city, I wish there was something where if you, if you talk to him at the beginning of the map, he'll say, oh yeah, well, the Kershaw will leave you alone, thank you for saving me. That would be cool. That would be pretty neat. Um, it would make the difficulty at this part rather moot, but, uh, alright, so this is where the expedition is. There's a skull of Brother What's-His-Face. Uh, I guess it's just a normal silver dagger or something like that. Here is the glyph key. Saturday, I encountered the Kershock. Luckily, I did not reveal myself, turning back before the Kershock guard saw me. Interestingly, the creature was keeping watch over a crown, possibly gold though it was tarnished with age. Does gold tarnish? Pretty sure it doesn't. No doubt valuable for those concerned about such things. Alas, the crown isn't what I seek, or I would be on my way home to rest and food. Tuesday, I have set more glyphs to guide me home when I find the key. All proceeds well, but why did Keeper Gadawal refuse my expedition status? Why did the council not vote? When I return, there will be answers. But for now I must wait. Notes and map are incomplete. Why could I not use the journal from the last trip? Thursday. I have found the glyph key, but the Kershock spied me, and they are relentless in their pursuit. For the moment I am safe. I have found my way in into an ancient library and secured the door. Apparently these beasts could once read and write. Perhaps living in these caves for generations has eroded their faculties. Monday. Every hour, the Kershaw try the door. Sometimes I wish they would break through. No other exit. Why was the key so important? So hungry? No, so important. So hungry. If I could eat and drink glyphs, will they rescue me? No one comes. I think I was sent. They hoped for this. Why don't they want the key? What do they fear? So tired. Yeah, so he's got a little Minds of Moria thing going on where the, the Kershock are at the door banging and whatever. Uh, it, actually, I remember it differently. I remember that they breached through the door as he was writing, but uh, apparently he just died in here. Um, I don't think they killed him, but he died of starvation or, or some such. some such complication um but yeah so uh so something doesn't seem right they sent him on the expedition but they didn't send rescue they didn't let him review old journals to find his way more easily and uh then they just forgot about him and he seems it seems as if they wanted him to get found and killed Monday. This is my first expedition into this citadel, but hopefully not my last. There is little here, though some might see value. In a hallway leading up and up, I saw a gold-woven tapestry, the scene perhaps part of their history or mythology. Difficult to tell. Books they can no longer read, or so it seems, as they are strewn about and left to decay. But there are still secrets that these Kershaw keep that we will discover. Tuesday. We are no further along than we were yesterday. Neville has tried to communicate. But has only wound. But only has only a wound to his leg to show for his efforts. I believe we must go back, get supplies and reinforcements to suit the task, and come back refreshed. The council will surely agree and wish to retrieve the glyph key quickly. We will return soon. Okay, so actually, if we check our objectives, where is the button? There we go. We're actually done, but there's a good bit of the level we haven't seen left, or yet, and again, we only have 65% of the loot. And do you think we're going to stop there? Do you think my kleptomania knows any real bounds? It does not. We will push on. 
It is a little annoying when you step on the swords. I mean, it's cool because it's like, yeah, they program the swords are a metal material, so blah, blah, blah. But it's like, it's the same metal sound as if you're stepping on metal grating. It's a little silly. So I may have to take the, well, we're going to go back up here real quick. I may have to take those, uh, those guys out, though. Oh, this is the throne room. Okay. I'm not going to bother trying to knock this guy out. Just... Again, now we're in exploration mode. I'm not really concerned about being overly, uh, like, oh, I'm going to ghost it, you know? I just want to get my stuff and get out. So we still need to go to the egg chamber and find the horn and also... We found the tapestry and we found the crown. So we're, we're good as far as that stuff goes. I think I may have already killed one of the other Kershock wandering around here. But yeah, like I said, this this level's not super long. It's interesting. It's got some interesting lore and stuff, but it's not like... Oh yeah, it's nice. I don't have to worry about if I can't... Uh, clear the jump height of a ledge. Because I've got my climbing gloves. Oh yeah. Yeah, if you really wanted to, you could just, uh, you know, steal the crown from up there without being spotted, slip away into the shadows, and then get out. And as you can see, you can actually ghost most of this. They're very, uh, they're probably no, if you want to just complete the objectives, there are no situations that you can't ghost in, which just speaks to the level design of this. Oh. That's a little bit more of a complicated lock. About to say there better be something good in there. 72%. Alright, now we're getting up there. Now we're getting up into the zone I like to be in. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, no way with the two guys patrolling I could have gotten in here. It was up here. Here and down here, and then up. there we go. Nice. Okay, plenty of loot. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and save again. Actually, you know what? We're gonna make a hard save. We did quite a bit of stuff. Let us go. don't 100% the place, we can always go back and try and figure it out. Here we are in here. Oh, shit. I see. You didn't see anything. Go away. See nothing. All darkness. Just stop where you are. Stop bending down. I just need that room clear so I can look around a little bit more. Because as you saw, I can I can sneak through that patrol pattern, but again, we're trying to get all the loot. And it's a lot harder to do when you have to worry about every little thing. Seriously tastes like they put sugar. Not in a bad way. Not like, oh, gross, but like, that is some sweet, sweet bourbon. We find you. Although I'm a little suspicious now. I'm gonna have to look this up. Oh, oh, there's two of them. I might grab one of these things. Still here. That was a waste, but whatever. I'm gonna be rich after this. Not sure. Not sure. Looking. So 
When they stop like that, I know he's gonna turn around. Or something like that. Look for I love that. It's so satisfying. Garrett's little flip of the knife. So cool. Dagger. Excuse me. Please forgive me. Oh yeah, that's the way I took to get it. Oh, okay, so maybe I didn't need to actually... Again, you know, that really just comes down to knowing the levels. Again, I haven't played uh, Deadly Shadows in quite some time, but, you know, I wouldn't put it past him to hide some of that shit behind these movable pots. Ah, there's a book here. After the fall, three clicks for Kershock, the leaf devil counted to bury us underneath, uh, under the earth. Many perished, but we survived. Gruliak wears the crown still. We will find a way back above. Two clicks for our underground home for now. Gruliak counts that a new map must be made to show us which rooms survived the fall and where they are now, and which caverns can be used to walk between. The theater renews our strength. The cave crystals there shine brightly and remind us of the sun. The former arena will serve as our new hatchery. Even now, eggs are counted and placed there. We prepare as always, as we always have for the hatching day that will come soon. The throne room is intact as well, and from there, Gruyak can watch the rebuilding and oversee the survivors of the Great Fall. Tonight, we celebrate our survival and curse the followers of the Leaf Devil. Tonight, we sing songs about the open sea and the sky so hidden from us. Tonight, we sing of how we will find a way back to the above world. To return when we are strong again, when our numbers count what they were before the Great Fall. We must teach the young ones to never forget the above world, in case the Leaf Devil imprisons us here for a very long time. Um, and of course, the conversation we heard right here before was that they don't even believe the above world exists anymore. That's how long they've been down here. And of course, their history talks about it all the time, the, the historical text, but... Um, it's possible they can't even read anymore. So the trickster, what a great guy. But we done murked that fool, so... We did our part. Alright, let's, uh... Checking recording again because I am paranoid. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I just, you know, if I can't see it in the window, I'm... I, I've done plenty of times where it says it's recording and I just see the black screen, but I, I just always get paranoid. Like, what if it's just getting black screen with audio over it and it just... Ugh. Some of these older games are very finicky with OBS, and it's kind of a nightmare. I think we already read that one. Yeah, that's the big room. We're gonna go this way towards the hatchery. Now we need to find two areas, the hatchery and the theater. The theater has diamonds, the hatchery has a horn with jewels in it. I don't remember the theater. I wonder if the theater is going to be very similar to the one from Thief Gold, which I believe was also in Thief uh, 2, when you go back to the, to the Lost City, so. We'll see. But, um... I'm just worried that the theater was in the other, but I think it was just the throne room in the other area, so. Oh, there we go. More loot, 78%. Getting up there. Oh good, and they fought each other. Fantastic, I don't have to 
to worry about as much. Better hope I'm not sticking around long enough to see these hatch. Yeah, actually, the first time I played this, I was terrified. I was like, oh shit, am I gonna have to fight, like, a bunch of, like, baby Kershock things? I don't think they hatch, but it is cool. But it's more like world building and lore stuff. I don't think it's supposed to be, like, an actual battle or challenge or anything like that. Yeah, so now we have to find the theater because I'm a, I'm getting a little concerned. I'm like, huh, I, there's, sh I, where is the theater? Okay, there's a Kershock. There we go. So let's go ahead and save. 82% That's where we were before and I was like that's not a good place to approach from Okay There's a moss arrow on the other side there They fought the rat people here So there's a horn we need to get. Where's that damn theater? You know what? The theater might be where the two uh, pagans are talking. We may need to knock them out to get over to it. Gonna come up here again. As soon as he turns around, we're just gonna go straight for him. Oh, come on, dude! Let's try it again. Easy. We didn't have time to look at that 84. <laughs> we only got 2% for that thing. I think sometimes they don't weight the special loot very well. Okay, so. Let's go back out into. Well, there's a chest here too that we gotta get into. I'm not sure. I don't think you can do anything to the eggs. Let's just see real quick. Yeah, it would be cool if like a frog beast or something came out of them, but like I don't think there's much. 85. All right now, we're, yeah, we are missing a pretty significant portion of loot, but this is the hatchery. So I, I assume it is a, a wholly uh, separate thing from the... Uh, From the theater, so now we're we're on the hunt for the theater, um, and hopefully we don't have to go back. If we have to go back, it's not the end of the world, you know, whatever. But uh, I do kind of wish of all the things that I I, I do kind of wish I did remove the loading zones when I was modifying my installation, but whatever. Here. 
was I think the last one we couldn't hundred percent, but that was because uh, it, we exited the mission like we got too close to a door and it just automatically exited the mission. Oh no, we went to a, through a loading zone and it doesn't go let you go back through, which is not very characteristic of like a War Inspector designed game. I was a little surprised by that to be honest, but. Um, Just into the hatchery there. Okay. This is just a torch. This is just the way to the throne room. There's no hallways here. I'm going to pick these up and throw them just in case. Nothing there. We might have to take out some pagans. Is this the theater? Doesn't look like a theater. But we'll check it out, I don't know. I'm gonna try not to kill any pagans in case it affects the, you know what, I'll use it. God, I'm just wasting resources here. But like I said, I'm gonna be rich after this, so who cares? Hey, bees up. <laughs> Did somebody say those were OP? There we go, 97, there we go. So this is the theater. So we're probably just missing like a jewel or two on the ground somewhere. You know, like in a little crevice or something. So we're gonna go back through, see if there's anything we missed. If we don't have to go back to the throne room, that's great. See, the problem I have is, this doesn't really look like a theater. I forgot how small this map was. It's actually not very big. I'm just gonna take out these two Kershock so we can just freely look around. Oh, that's a little further back, okay. Well, let's go back down here just in case. Wait a minute. Haha! -ha. I'm smart. Anything here? No. Damn it. Well. The only reason that I'm bugged about the Pagan level not getting 100% in it is because I didn't really know where else to look. You know, it's not like I was just like, oh yeah, I might have missed something here. I had no clue where else I could have looked for stuff that I needed, so. everything from there. Nothing hiding in a corner here. Okay. not very cash money of you. <laughs> yeah, we'll take one last uh, romp through the... Th you know what? Let's take out those two Kershaw. They might have been something hiding in that chamber that we didn't see. Ah! <laughs> we did it! Yeah! Alright. Oh, that's that's the stuff. That's the stuff that dreams are made of right there. Okay. 
Alright, now we can just ghost these guys. I don't need to kill them. I don't really care either way. God damn it. I think I am going to kill him because now he's just pissed me off. I want out of here now. Spend so much money when we get out of here. <laughs> Too much money. I know I'm not being very stealthy, guys, but I'm just impatient now. I'm ready to ready to move on to the next mission. Cause keep in mind, we got to go to the hub world. We got to sell so much stuff. We have to buy so much stuff. Because Moira's isn't hard, I just, like I said, I don't want to be missing stuff, you know, like gas bombs and whatnot when I get out. Just gonna make one more hard save. Yeah. So, so far, we are... How many missions have we done? Uh, yeah, I would like to continue. Well, I didn't make any new friends, but I found the glyph key that the keepers have been searching for. Plus, I picked up a little something extra for myself. Not really my style in hats, but the gold it's made of should be worth a fair bit. With the key, the keepers will be able to open their compendium after all. Wonder what it says. Something tells me it isn't entirely good news. Oh yeah, we started the keeper library now. Which is not the worst place to start. I think I have a yeah, I have a holster button. Oh, I think I don't think much of this changes. Do I need to go oh yeah, cool. I don't think I need to re loot any of that stuff. The speed with which it was recovered, impressive, but I find it disconcerting. Yes, the Compendium Key, a glyph that has been lost for how long? That is no longer important, Elder Samuel. However, the prophecies say that when it is recovered, as Garrett has now done, that the Dark Age will be quickly upon us. Nice. From now on, I think he should get approval for his... Excursions from the Keeper Council. Perhaps you are right, Elder Samuel. I shall discuss this with Orland. Besides, it does us little good without the Compendium of Reproach. Are we to suppose that Garrett will acquire that next? I think you are to suppose that. Because it's what I'm... Oh, yeah, okay. I don't, I don't think there's any new notes for the most part in the in the library here. Um, oh, don't they have a fountain that can or is that It would be better if the malformed no, that's in were the... saved for study. Like the hammerite areas. <sighs> yeah, no. That's their whole thing, is balance. That's why they don't really take sides unless they have to. Oh, that's shining for some reason. Yeah, we already read that. I think they ripped this little... I mean, obviously they redid the asset, but they ripped that. That's from the beginning, the training mission in the Dark Project. A lot of what's it's the same thing with the windows. I mean, what I mean is that they're so similar, they're, it's more of an homage than it is a. What could possibly justify such a delay? Yeah, they're gonna kill me if I do that. Alright, let's make another save here. And what does it 
let's see. Oh yeah, I have to go to the docks to uh, where my goal is. Find a boat in the docks and take it to Captain Morty's seaside mansion to steal the companion of pagans and request that. Uh, oh, let's check my faction status. Why are the pagans mad at me? Oh, because I stole from the. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. I'll find another cornerstone to shoot. Moss arrows at? Was it? Was it? Well, let's just get back out on the streets and do our. Do our gear thing. I've got a lot of loot to sell. I have gear, uh, loot. Damn. I have 5,000 loot there, and then how much ca Oh, I only have 900 cash on me, so. But again, other than restocking my supply right now, I really don't have that much more to buy. I wish you could have bought stuff for for that was before people did a lot of Retail that kind of seller. stuff in games. But uh, I wish you could have bought like upgrades for Garrett's uh, for Garrett's house, you know, like make it a little nicer. Okay, so I know where we're at roughly. What we're gonna do? First off, let's try this. I'm straight up here now. Nope. Nothing of interest. This guard. Go away. Leave me alone. Something moving. Huh. Looking at nothing and jumping too. Yeah, just turn around and go away, buddy. You're not my supervisor. Okay. It is my one gripe, I think, is that at some point in this game, um, you do hit points where you're just like, okay, I just need to, I just need to restock my inventory, or I just need to get to the next mission. And, but you still have to do all this like sneaking through the streets. It can get a little bit, but you know, I like the open world aspect. Now, especially at this part in the game where you're revisiting the same areas over and over, it's a little annoying. But um, later on, you know, you get totally new areas of the city. Like, you know, well, we've been to the docks already, but we'll be able to access more in the docks. I wonder why there are so many gargoyles everywhere. Hmm. See, now we can grab this. Cool stuff like that. Uh, I think one mission starts up there. We have to crawl into the vents there. But uh, we gotta be careful here. I wish you could take down your, uh, your wanted posters as well. That would be cool. Somebody coming up the stairs, isn't there? If gals. No right there, gals. one here. Just my look. All at the pub. Except me. <laughs> Scared myself is all. <coughs> I. Stuff just looks different at night. <clears throat> I don't think, you know, like uh -uh. I said, like, uh -uh. Uh -uh. I think past some point, there's not much more going on with everybody's, like, like little stories and stuff. As, as much as I commended the game for having these kind of things, like, when you go back, there's not a ton to do. You know? Yeah, I don't need it that much. 
I don't need any loot. Any Was amount that of loot that What I do need to do is get to my fences. So we're gonna go to Black Market Bertha, for starters. Catch up with you later, eh? What the? Someone took it? Right off my person! That is pretty funny. Oh, wait. Yeah, I took the wrong way. Damn it. Okay, where was I? I totally forgot where I was going. Oh, no, no, I didn't. Just gotta wait. I, I meant to take that door. That's where I needed to go to get over to Black Market Bertha. How was your day? Evening to you. What was that? Yes, let's go to Stone Market proper. So I've got to hit up basically every fence and every store to restock on all my goodies. And, uh, but we'll hit the docks up last, which makes the most sense anyways. You know what? Just... That's what we're gonna do. Is this Bertha? Say. Did I mention? You don't have to call me Black Market Bertha. Just Bertha will do. Okay, so... Yep, sell all. Now this is a lot of stuff. I should know, I've been in this business a long time. Not that I'm old, mind you, but... Uh, oh, you don't want to hear me go on. Just tell me if I talk too much. Anyway, you, you really know how to rob them, Garrett. That's why they... That's why they pay me the big bucks. Alright. I'm good here. I'm not gonna mess with much of the open world stuff right now, because we did a bunch of that before, so... Um... So I need gas bombs, holy water... Well, actually... I don't know if I can hold any more... I don't know how many more of those I can hold, but let's see. Broadheads, water, moth. Well, actually, they don't let you buy more than you can carry, so I don't need to worry about this. So I'm just gonna go in. Thanks for coming in. Don't hey, help. Garrett. Oh, yes. Hey, did you know? Oh, <laughs> I'll just let you shop. It's just so great doing business with you, Garrett. Hey. I was thinking, maybe you could say something about my store, a little, like, um, endorsement, sort of. Might bring other thieves in, and, oh, you probably need to get going. <laughs> sure. Alright, that's good enough. I really need to focus on waters, though, mainly right now. And I think I can get shitloads of uh, holy water at Fort Ironwood, so I'm not super concerned. So now we're going to go about to uh, Black Market Perry. Or Heartless Perry. Not, it's Black Market Bertha Heartless Perry. Hey, Perry. how are things? Let's go over to Heartless Perry. It is kind of neat that you find these. You have to find like the quickest way through the back alleys to the place that you need to go. That's pretty neat. I think somebody sells gas arrows. I think they're in Oddale, though, which is like end of the game stuff. And I think. Oh, there's an elemental cornerstone somewhere around here. First off, let's 
musket, yeah. Two water arrows always stock up here. Right, good. So two sit. Oh, did I really knock people out? Okay, that's a shame. Actually, I'm gonna go to my apartment. I'll go to my apartment and check it out. See what's going on. Steal from all my neighbors again. Uh, something that Razor pointed out uh, when he was playing last night. Uh, if you notice, this guard is actually wearing different a different uniform than the guard. Um, from the first night, which means that um, if you steal from your neighbors on that first night, uh, it's a different guard because he got the other one got fired. Always have to steal from my landlord. Had I been playing more consistently, I would have had that memorized. All right, just two broadheads, okay. A little bit of loot. Yeah, he stops having much as the game progresses, you know, because you spend more time like spawning in the in the keeper library and stuff like that. I think I also tried igniting the fireplace with a fire arrow. It'd be cool if you could do it, but you can't. The one thing I can say about thief. Well, no, in the original thief games, you could relight torches with fire arrows. It's just a huge waste of fire arrows. Um, and then in, uh, I think in 2014, you can do the same thing. You can ignite things as small as a candle if you want to with fire arrows. It's just kind of dumb. Which door? Oh my, one needs to... But it's cool that it's there. It's just, yeah. you know, like I said, it's a waste of fire arrows. <sighs> yeah, I think once you steal from them once, unfortunately, they don't repopulate with loot. Yep, nothing in here. Damn it. Well, that sucks. They can't steal from him multiple times, but whatever. I guess we'll check out my place. Nothing in here. Nice fire going. I don't know who's been tending it. I've been out of. been away for a while. Like I said, the one thing I just never understood was this. What is this? Was this supposed to... I, I wonder if this was originally like... Because there's one like it in the Keeper Library, and if you step on it, it opens a secret compartment. And I was always wondering, like, okay, is there like a... Because in Thief 2, you actually go to Garrett's apartment also in that game, and there is a secret compartment with a bunch of stuff in it that you can grab. So I was like, is that what we're talking about here? But, uh, no. No. Watching the shadows, having fun with that. All right, let's get out of here. All right, now we go to over to uh, Heartless Perry. I don't want anyone to take up my stuff. All the way over to Heartless Perry, get our stuff sold. I think that guy sells water arrows, though. That's why it's important to go down there. Is his 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 guy on that street? His store sells uh, water arrows. There's usually a rust bug here. I don't know why he's not here right now. There's a hammer, right? Catch up with you later, eh? But we're buddies, so if the cool thing is, is now. Alright, we're gonna quick save. Watch this. So I'm gonna <sighs> piss off the Didst city watch. Not see me? Hey, you can't oh, be here! Then. The others should know about this! <laughs> Wait, come on! Here we go, see you later. Help me out, buddy. Well, the AI doesn't always work super great, but you can see Take how he's this. not attacking me. Um, they will Stop often help you fight me. in combat. I see thee, Garrett. Do not oh, trifle with me. Smokes. 
You found the taffer. Don't. Um, they do help you. Trust me. Um, Pardon, it's sir. Just you know, it doesn't always work. So. But now that you see them out on the streets, it's important that you you understand the the faction system because if you piss them off, then just like the guards, they will attack you on sight. So. I like little things like that in these games. Is that blackmailer still? Or the blackmail Lee? Still, uh, yep, apparently. <laughs> I don't want to fucking scare her. Oh, wait. And let's go ahead and check our faction status. Boom. I'll shoot one more for good measure back. Well, I don't like the look of them. In another part of the city. But let's go ahead and fence our stuff. What's the word on the street? This is it. I need some good news for a change, so Gareth. Word is the ham is about to get you. What'd you do to get them so miffed at you? Fortunately, the game's dialogue doesn't always keep up. Well, I did, I don't know if you guys remember the last um, recording, but I did basically... Something in particular you're looking for? The name's yes, Thomas, if the sir needs anything. I think we're good for everything else. Five, 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 ten, twenty, twenty-five, five, and twenty-eight. Can I not buy... Too. Yeah, I was about to say, I was like, I should be able to, you know, I'll find broadheads. I don't need to pay. I don't need to spend good money on that. What a waste. Uh, but yeah, the last, uh, the last uh, Let's Play, I allied myself within what? I don't know, 30 minutes or less with both factions, so... You know, the game probably hasn't caught up. It's not expecting that most players their first time around are going to have done something like that. to the docks and I don't think we need to buy anything from the store in the docks but we might check it out regardless yeah and here's our final there we go let's go ahead and check our faction status we are no what all right then I'll shoot an elemental arrow into the cocoon I'll shoot a water because there's a water right here. Oh, there's moss too. Aren't stopped when, uh, they builders up the whole world. There we go. No tree. Action. Boom. <laughs> I've noticed that cornerstone has been bugged in the past for me. It does not always yield a. Uh, faction status change for you. One other thing I like about being allied with the pagans is, uh, as I showed you last time, you can come in here and they have a little, uh, they have a little fountain here. Now don't steal from them, they'll get pissed, but you can always come over here, fill up your health, which is super nice. Okay, so we're gonna go to our fence, go to our store. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Are they still talking about this note? Okay. Well, what's the delay? You got something you want to fence or not? I do. 
sure is a lot of stuff, Garrett. You probably think I should be grateful for the business, but it means a lot more work on my end. Okay, so I have pretty much a full inventory. I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick. Which again, we don't need. The next mission is not terribly difficult. It is super amazing, though. Um, so we don't necessarily need all that, but oh yeah, I'm gonna go up here. Just in case there's something else. I need to grab. I'm, you know, did I ever? Did I not have? Go over there. Yeah, I was just looking at that ledge. Fantastic. Real smart there. Kind of want to knock that guard out though, so I don't have to worry about. Oh, dealing. they'll all be at the tavern while I'm stuck here, watching this bloody place. I sure could go for a pint. I do enjoy pints as well. That was very dramatic. Just gonna drop him over here. That should give me carte blanche for at least a little while. To at least be down this out. Come at him! Go on! What's all this? I can see that, you know! Welcome! I may reload a uh, hope save. Hope you uh, find everything you need. I may reload a save. Damn it, where did I save last? Uh, yeah, gas bombs are expensive. We're gonna load. Oh, seriously? Oh, fuck. All right, guys, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta do a bunch of stuff all over again. I'm sorry. Oh no, we don't. Okay, okay, we're good. We just gotta knock out this one guard. I'm not going up for the the loot this time. It's not worth it. Well, all right, it, it, at least in, to kill some time while he comes down here. Like I said, when you just need to commute, it can be a little annoying, because you're just like, all right, I've explored this area. Oh no, it's not stuck. He's just taking forever. I was just thinking, for as much time as I've spent looking into the development of Thief 1 and 2, System Shock, Ultima Underworld, Deus Ex, even Deus Ex Invisible War. I don't think I've ever actually sat down and watched Warren Spector or any of the, the Thief team talk about this game. I don't think I need anything from that fence. So he might have practice lockpicks, which... Yeah. It'd be kind of cool to, to buy him and just have him. You know, again, it's like the only upgrade for your apartment, Hello. so I like that. Alright then. Oh, somebody in the comments earlier was saying, uh, were people getting spooked because I had a weapon in my hand? How's that, uh, cut on your hand, Ferry? Yeah, about as good as can be hoped for, says Doctor. Let me have a look-see then. Hello. That looks terrible. Yeah, uh, see, the bad humors aren't getting released quick enough due to an uncommon sickness in my conundrum. Really? Or something like that. All clear? And also... Doc thinks I've got too dry a circulatory for leeches to stick properly. Well, you 
You just say the word, and I'll have my man lance it for you, but good. I love how the, the the technology in this world's so advanced, but they're still talking about like bad humors and leeching and stuff like that. Bloodletting and stuff. Really? Okay, and this is okay, this is not great design because for reals guys. There we go. I'm gonna make a hard save here. I may use a flash bomb, I don't know. I just wish for thinking. Too eager for a fight, I guess. And there's no way around it either, you know. Well, don't wanna have to use a water arrow in the city streets, but I guess I'll try. Out something. I didn't feel any draft. Maybe it'll do it again. Just gonna try and get by. Probably chasing after I figured it was nothing on me with my I probably just imagined it. <gasps> Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I didn't get to him before he saw his buddy. Damn it! Uh, you like to load this? In? Yes, please. Please load it for me. Mm. Well, let's try going to the store just in case we need anything. I can't think of anything we need. Though. Welcome. Uh, hope you uh, find everything That's you need. That's expensive, man. That's expensive. I'm not. I'm not paying for that. Oh, they despawned. Okay, thank you. Yeah, because they're not supposed to be. So that was a glitch. I was like, yeah, that's. I shouldn't. They're supposed to be elsewhere doing other things. Also, all the rust mites have gone, which is interesting. Um, and the abysmal gale is still there. Uh, we're going to save. Yeah, quick save. Because the boat, I think, is, like, right there. I don't think we're going to knock this guy out or wait for him. There's two of them. Ah, uh, there it is. I think I know how we're going to get there. All right, let's just... It's going to go that way. That's the boat. All right. We're about to embark on a voyage, a voyage, to Lady Moira's mansion. Captain Moira's mansion, but uh, Captain Moira is dead. Sorry, guys. I'm just... Some of this is for my own edification. If I want to come back and play this later, I have a, I have a save. Sorry, I didn't read it for you guys, my bad. The lead from the abysmal gale has brought me here, to the captain's seaside mansion. Well, former captain. Omoira and most of his crew didn't survive their final voyage, but luckily for me, the ship's manifest did. It talked about a golden slab, which sounds like the compendium of reproach the keepers have been looking for. The log said Captain Moira brought it home for safekeeping. I doubt he knew what he had. Probably just wanted it for the gold. My stolen rowboat got me here in one piece. Now I just have to find and steal the compendium. 
There's no way to know how many of the captain's loyal men are guarding the place, but the household will probably be in an uproar over the captain's death. With luck, no one will notice me sneaking around. The widow Moira might know where her late husband kept his treasures. Maybe I'll start by paying her a little visit. Okay, objectives. Find a way into the Overlook Mansion. Find and steal the golden slab. Oh yeah, it's not Lady Moira's mansion. It's the House of Widow Moira. Okay, I'll have to remember that. Find a way. Okay, find and steal the golden slab. Known as a compendium of reproach. Leave the Overlook Mansion. Overlook Mans grounds. Uh, note the Widow Moira may know where the, her husband kept the compendium of reproach. That's going to be important. Uh, let's see. Difficulty goals gear. All right, let's go ahead and start it. Once again, this is one of my favorite missions in all of Thief. Uh, possibly second only to Life of the Party. Because as I said, Shellbridge Cradle isn't necessarily... It's not not a Thief mission, but it's not like a... You know. It's not just about stealing. It's, it's like a whole other thing going on. So if you just want a, like a sort of mission to really exemplify like the best things of Thief would say life of the party for sure is like that's why it was such a great demo for the thief 2 demo it's just like it, you, you play that mission you're instantly hooked you're like wow this is amazing unfortunately it's the best one um but uh, this is my second favorite in all of the i fucking love this mission we're gonna get into it but here's the thing this mission is so important to me and i want you know, the, the commentary as I play it to be fresh, my, my first impressions on this playthrough, so, um, and I'm concerned about the quality of the recording right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stop this recording, and this is going to be the next episode, uh, so that the, sorry, this is going to be the new episode, and then the episode after this will be Lady Moore's Mansion, we can be sure that everything is ready to go, so, uh, thank you for joining me once again for Let's Play Thief Deadly Shadows, uh, for you, you're going to have to wait for another episode, which should be uploading at the same time, so whatever. Just press, uh, should be up in the, um, the playlist, or even recommend it as the next video. Um, and for me, I'm just going to, uh, quick, uh, stop record, check the other one, and then, uh, refill my bourbon and get started. So, thanks again for joining me for Bourbon Fueled Larceny, um, in Thief Deadly Shadows.